the dairy industry wants to add cancer-causing chemicals into their product in order to reduce its calorie count. The dairy industry are lobbying the FDA to allow them to pump milk full of cancer-causing chemicals in an effort to introduce reduced calorie versions of milk. The International Dairy Foods Association IDFA, and the National Milk Producers Federation NMPF, petitioned the FDA to amend the standard of identity for milk which, if approved, will allow them to add the carcinogenic sweetener aspartame to their products. Items that contain artificial sweeteners or other ingredients to reduce their calorie counts are required by the state to indicate that they are reduced calorie on the label. According to the IDFA and NMPF, this label is a turn-off for many consumers. Perhaps this is because many people try to avoid consuming artificial sweeteners regardless, their deceitful proposal would remove the telltale phrase from the product's labels, but it would not impact the actual ingredient list. However, that means one would have to inspect the ingredient list on every milk bottle they purchase to ensure no undesirable ingredients are present. How many people would actually do this, and how many would actually be aware that they had to? The industry relies on consumer ignorance to sell products. A proposal such as this clearly demonstrates that they are trying to fool people into buying milk sweetened with a chemical they would otherwise avoid. How is this even being considered as a possibility? Americans have the right to know what is in their food, and industries like Big Dairy do not have the right to be deceitful. Many other products would still be subject to bearing the reduced calorie label. Why should they get a pass? There is no reason for milk, or any other foodstuff to lie about what it contains especially when it contains harmful chemicals like aspartame. The ill effects of aspartame Aspartame has been the subject of immense scrutiny for quite some time. In 1996, a study published by the Journal of Neuropathology and Experimental Neurology posited, compared to other environmental factors putatively linked to brain tumors, the artificial sweetener aspartame is a promising candidate to explain the recent increase in incidence and degree of malignancy of brain tumors. The research team, from Washington University Medical School, noted that at that time, evidence that potentially indicated aspartame as a cause of brain tumors included an animal study that revealed an exceedingly high incidence of brain tumors in rats that had been fed aspartame compared to no brain tumors at all in the concurrent control group. The team states that aspartame was introduced in the U.S. food and beverage market just a few short years prior to the drastic increase in brain tumor incidence and malignancy around the country. In their conclusion, the researchers stated, We conclude that there is need for reassessing the carcinogenic potential of aspartame. That was just over two decades ago. Research has continued to demonstrate that aspartame poses a threat to overall health and can be especially harmful to the brain. A more recent study, published in 2007 found that exposure to aspartame over the course of rodents' lifespans greatly increased the incidence of lymphomas and leukemias in both male and female rats. Female rats exposed to aspartame also exhibited an increased incidence of mammary cancer. The team concluded, the results of this carcinogenicity bias A confirm and reinforce the first experimental demonstration of, aspartames, multipotential carcinogenicity at a dose level close to the acceptable daily intake for humans. The team also noted that when exposure began during fetal life, the carcinogenic effects were amplified. Several researchers from that study went on to publish a report in 2014, entitled, The Carcinogenic Effects of Aspartame, The Urgent Need for Regulatory Reevaluation. In that report, the team discussed the increasing evidence of aspartame's toxic and carcinogenic nature. In the abstract, the researchers concluded, on the basis of the evidence of the potential carcinogenic effects of aspartame herein reported, a re-evaluation of the current position of international regulatory agencies must be considered an urgent matter of public health. And this is what the dairy industry wants to put in milk to trick children into drinking it. Please comment below and share this news. And feel free to sign up now for the News Exposed newsletter to get breaking exposed news, and more, delivered straight to your inbox. It's News Exposed signing off.